sun, it's still pretty hot in here at the moment. Uh, Frias of Style Defenders, <laughs> that guy knows English. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Rick. I'm Marco. Uh, nice to meet you. Maybe you want to say a few words to... Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Ukraine, actually from Donetsk, but... You're from Donetsk? Yeah, I'm from Donetsk, but... I made this one in Donetsk. Nice. I lived there for one year. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> um, that's really awesome. So maybe you want to say a few words uh, just to... To express your opinion, why is it important to be here? What do you think? Why is it important to be here? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. That'll put it over here? Uh, oh, yeah. no, holding it closer to oh, the okay. mouse is the best way. Okay, okay, okay. Because it's noisy. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. One second. Three as well, yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. Why is it important to be here? Um, that's a very good question. Well, uh, when the whole thing went down, I was actually more or less in, in, in the Netherlands, I think. Are you and from Netherlands? I am, I am Dutch, but I live over here. I mean, like, the 24th I left, uh, early in the morning, and then afterwards, you know, I went into whole Europe and all that stuff, and, uh, but, it, it, yeah, when this started, it was like, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it, it was, it was horrible, really. I couldn't, I really, and I mean it, I couldn't eat a fucking bite. If I went out on the pizza, I went out something, you know, I really was thinking that these guys were sitting over here, and I knew how hard it was to fight, and, yeah, and I mean, like, uh, come on, let, let's be honest, why the, why the fuck not be here? I mean, like, right now everybody should be here. Fucking whole Europe should yeah, be here. Yeah. They should have stood they should have fucking stand here already for a fucking long time ago. There was a really good sign over there about the United Nations. F sorry, but I'm going to be rude, but yeah. uh, fuck them. Yeah, fuck I, them. I, 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 I totally agree. I, I, I am so fucking sick and tired of NATO. They call about war crimes, they call about all kind of other shit. And yeah. I mean, like, you know, and uh, I remember that I was in the Netherlands and there was the mayor of, the, of uh, Amsterdam, Femke Halsma, one of my uh, former famous kind of uh, politicians, and I loved her always. And then she stands there, like, yeah, we are here to stand, to stand together with Ukraine. And I was going like, fuck, I'm standing in the middle of, of the Netherlands, of the dump in Amsterdam, mm. and I mean, I, I'm not standing with Ukraine, standing... Yeah, I keep talking. Yeah, standing, standing with Ukraine is more or less like, uh, yeah, really being here. I, I was so happy that I came back home and uh, I live in Podil, so I, I'm so happy. So uh, for me, I love this city and I just don't want to go. And I feel like we are being bullied by those fucking Russians constantly. And I mean, like I'm tired, sick and tired of bully. And I'm also sick and tired of living in fear. And these guys just need to go. go. They're soldiers. And what the fuck did they do to protect their country? And that's for that they need to be, be punished by those assholes? No, sorry. That's uh, sorry. Part of, part, of, part of my words, what I mean. Keep, uh, keep swearing because I'm also swearing a lot. I'm also very angry. Yeah. I'm also sick and tired of all of this shit. We need more weapons. We need them yesterday. Because oh. Dude, it, man. It, dude, man. I mean, like, this whole weapon issue, they can kiss my fucking ass. Really. I mean it. You know? They can kiss my motherfucking ass. Everything came too late. They all were, they all were, like, 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 meeting and all that stuff. Well, people were fucking dying over here and were shooting with, 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 a, with, with a revolver from uh, the Second World War or something like that. Yeah. And where the, when the fuck did they come? Later, because they need to have a meeting. Hello, hello, I don't know if you know it, but I mean, like, people, for, people seem to forget. And that's one of the most important things. If, let's say if, God forbid, by any chance, they would succeed in taking this, they will pay shitload for their bread. Yeah. They will pay a shitload for the manure and they will pay a shitload for everything else because they're going to take the fucking revenge. And even after MH, uh, this, this, uh, this airplane that got shut down, yeah. what the fuck did the international community do? Ah, uh, nothing. It's Russia. Kiss my ass. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Uh, so for some, it's too much cursing, but it's okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just bloody yeah. angry. I'm just Other bloody angry. Other people are saying clear words, love to hear it, unfiltered. So okay. not everyone. Uh, fuck Putin, fuck Russia. 100% uh, this guy. Nice board there. Wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. <laughs> Can you read this? Um, what does it say? We will rave on Putin's grave. Uh huh. Nice. Um, I like this, this is, one. This is the back side. The back side says. Uh, if you ask why I smell so much. Uh, <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. No, 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 I'm sorry. I know. I know. Maybe I should not do it. Maybe I should be more polite and more European. But fuck it. I'm never not. apologize. <laughs> Speak your truth. 
says holy uh, ablation okay thank you uh, so, okay yeah, yeah that's my truth yeah I'm, I'm tired of it because i've i've seen too much shit man i mean like especially if you go to european countries i mean like these these people don't know anything they don't know anything what happened yeah. even over here i just got interviewed by that television network yeah and and yeah i mean like you know they don't know the history they don't know that what we what if you live in ukraine you know that there was no other way than fight back yeah and hunt yeah. this is this and there was there was no other way because they were not coming for only the pieces of ground but they were they are coming for to kill and to destroy the ukrainian nation yeah. their language speak ukrainian by the way for everybody to watch please rasmovlad ukrainsk belaska can you please repeat your name once again? Ah, okay, yeah, my name is Marco. Marco? Marco, oh, so, yeah. Because yeah. I'm remembering names only from the second try. No, 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 Marco. <coughs> uh, loud and true, uh, speak it brother. Cool skateboard. Thank you. Fuck uh, <laughs> the anger and frustration needs to be let out. Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I have That's a very supportive part. community. Cool. It's on awesome. YouTube in case you want to join us someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, maybe in a, yeah. as a guest on the stream yeah. uh, would be cool because uh, I really like people who can speak you can, out. Can you give me a number or like, like something like yeah, that? Yeah, would be cool. Yeah, can you cool. please yeah. uh, write it? It's not recording anymore? <laughs> it's recorded, it's a stream, but... Uh, oh, I can, can write it, I can write it, yeah, write it. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do it. It's a Ukrainian number, probably, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I live here for nine years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I live... Marco. Yeah, Marco, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Just a I, I, I lived in the Netsk. I'll, I'll let it, thank you. Uh, yeah, you lived in the Netsk from what year to what uh, year? 2013, 2014. Mm-hmm. This, this was the last thing I did in Donetsk. Nice. I made this one. So you lived there for a year right before the first invasion. Yeah, right before the first invasion. And you've seen how it was happening, right? Uh, it, was, uh, it was horrible. I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, uh, uh, for me, it was even more unclear. I just came over here, couldn't understand the word of Ukrainian or Russian. And then you had, like, on... Uh, uh, Lenin Square there in the middle of Donetsk, they had like this little tent standing and they were constantly day and night shouting for Russia, Russia, and I had like, even have a video about it. And yeah, I mean, like I was, I was happy that I was gone. I like Donetsk as a city, by the way. It's a cool city. There's, there's, there was no problem there. But, uh, but, but yeah, the, yeah, of course the situation became uh, too dire and, and, and too crappy that you really needed to go. Yeah. yeah. And I lived in occupation after... Oh, you lived in occupation? Yeah, oh, in Makivka, actually. I'm, uh, I'm not from the next, yeah, you know, the yeah, neighboring yeah. city, Makivka. Yeah, 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 So, yeah, know, I'm from Makivka. Uh, Vol uh... uh, <laughs> Makivka is a big city, a big city. close to Donetsk. Uh, they form a huge uh, big city because they, they stand really close to one another. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I was fed up with uh, the shit of occupation. Uh, and in 2019, I got out. Uh, I finally got mature enough to get out. I had my uh, I had my Christmas Christmas in Volnavaka. Mm, wow. So yeah, and that was like uh, really we had the house right around the corner with block post, and then afterwards you could hear the bombs like sometimes you know. Yeah. Silent night, uh, holy night, peace on earth, boom boom. Russians were actually placing howitzers in the uh, next yard to mine yeah. and shooting them in the night. Um, and I was waking up from those howitzers shooting somewhere close to my house. It was a terrible experience. I understand, I understand. Yeah, my, my, my friend still lived in Ypres. I, uh, they're in the Netherlands right now, by the way. <clears throat> so, uh, but they, uh, they, they, they also showed me like, they were always doing this, the tea little place and all that stuff. And suddenly you see the missiles shooting from their backyard yeah. almost, you know, and that was, I mean, like, you know, it, 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 it tore me apart. I, I, I have been crying so much when I was back. I was so happy that I was back in Kiev. That was incredible. Mm. I was just sitting in my, in, on my apartment and just sitting on the couch and I'm home. And yeah, of course, you got the air raid alarm and all this stuff, but yeah, fuck it. I, 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 I really, I mean it. I, I, re, I, I, I refuse to live in fear because then they will win. They yeah. will not win about right. that. And I mean, like, you know, there. Don't be silent, never forget, never forgive, exactly. Oh, uh, absolutely. Marco, join us, uh, says Andreas. Uh, Andreas is from Germany. Uh -huh. uh, I think we have a lot of Dutch viewers here. 
but I'm not sure um, that they are here right now. And hey, guys, if some some of you said they have on the sea of need, yeah, <laughs> if, if some of you is Dutch, let us know. Okay. Marcus should definitely join us. Um, okay, who, who else was saying? Preach, brother. <laughs> Elvis, man, thank you. Uh, I'm thanking you from Benz of Baby and from everyone there. In you're the welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. I'm happy uh, that I... Fuck the anger. Uh -huh. I yeah, already... well, you know. Tattoo, trezuk, it's good. Thank you for your time yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you very much, Marco. Thank you. Thank you. Where can I message you um, on that number? Telegram. Or just telegram. call you... Telegram. Two. Okay, on Telegram, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, the best. Yeah. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, too. Yeah, I would be happy to see you on the yeah. stream someday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for supporting these rallies. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah, see you there next week, man, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's a long rally. I'm not always able to come to each point uh -huh. because I uh, like to stop and talk to people for uh -huh. 15 to 20 <laughs> minutes like this. <laughs> yeah, you come nowhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, there was Olenka standing there, but I... Oh, she's still there. I'm going to go right. and see her and talk to her. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank see you, Marco. Man. Thank you. you too. Nice, nice meeting you. Nice <laughs> meeting you too. Bye. Bye. Oh, actually, Marco is uh, riding his board there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Nice style. <laughs>